Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I am back. You know, I've been really busy. I started this new thing on Instagram called Tuesday Night Therapy Talk Live, where every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I talk to someone else across the country about their experience with therapy, or I talk to you about anxiety, depression, your sex life, relationships, PTSD, sometimes even sex toys. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram so you can see that every Tuesday night, and it's always up for 24 hours. And shortly, these videos are going to be available on Instagram too. So make sure to follow me there so you don't miss any of the stuff I'm working on. Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm a sex researcher. There are a lot of rumors about how you can get HIV, but really there's only a few different ways. In this video, I'm gonna break down the facts and give you the truth. There are almost 38 million people worldwide who have HIV and one million in the United States alone. The key to fighting HIV is good education so people understand their risks. Unfortunately, in the US, there is no government-mandated sex education, and states are able to pretty much say whatever they want. For example, in only 17 states is it required that sex education be medically accurate. I mean, if it's not medically accurate, what's even the point? That means that in the majority of states, it is 100% legal for them to say things like you can get HIV from a toilet seat. Which, spoiler alert, unless that toilet seat is covered in blood that is infected with HIV, you sit on it anyways, and you happen to have cuts all over your butt, that's just not how it works. There are only a few bodily fluids that contain enough HIV to transmit the virus to someone else. There are semen, precum, vaginal and rectal fluid, blood, and breast milk. These are the fluids you need to be aware of. So no, you can't get HIV from sharing a straw or kissing or even pee. There's not enough virus in the saliva for it to be transmitted mouth to mouth, so slobber away. But can you get HIV from oral sex? Since there's HIV in semen, precum, and vaginal fluid, whether you're going down on someone with a penis or someone with a vagina, well, there is a risk. But that risk is minimal. In order to get HIV from performing oral sex, you must have an open wound in your mouth that would allow the virus to infect you. An example would be recent dental work. And if you're in that boat, your mouth is probably really sore and you're not gonna be good at performing oral sex anyway, so maybe just take a break. Another example would be if you have an open sore or blister in your mouth or an STI in your throat like herpes. These would allow more easy access for the virus to infect your blood, but honestly the rates are very low and stats report anywhere from 2 to 6% of all HIV transmissions coming from oral sex. So yeah, technically you can get HIV from oral sex but your chances are very low. If this is something you're concerned about, there's a few things you can do. Make sure that your partners are virally suppressed. There's a link above for more information on that. Or use a male or female condom during oral sex. If it's something you're really concerned about, you could also consider going on pre-exposure prophylaxis. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I do not want you to miss out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I do Tuesday Night Therapy Talk Live, where I cover a different topic in psychology and talk with people across the country about anxiety, depression, sex, relationships, sex toys, PTSD, all that stuff. So make sure to follow me there so you don't miss out on any of that. And while you're waiting, check out some of these other videos that I've worked really hard on.